Hello and welcome to this lesson on how to analyze customer data. Analysis of customer data is primarily focused towards making better business decisions. Qualitative data is comparatively harder to analyze than quantitative data as it tends to be subjective and varies from person to person. However, irrespective of the data type, the complexity of the analysis is mostly dependent on the methods used and the amount of data collected. Therefore, implementation of customer analytics methods largely vary depending on the type of service, data, and the business goals. In general, customers can be analyzed in four different methods based on the type of analysis. Descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics, predictive analytics, and prescriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics involves looking into the past trends and historical data to find insights on the actions of customers. It allows businesses to discover what happened in the past. While the diagnostic analytics involves looking into the past trends and historical data to find insights on the cause of action of customers. In other words, it allows businesses to discover why something happened in the past. Predictive analytics, on the other hand, involves the use of historical data and trends as a basis to predict a future outcome. It uses the insights provided by descriptive and diagnostic analytics to foresee future outcomes in order to manage expectations, risk, and strategies. Finally, the prescriptive analytics involves the analysis of possible future outcomes to suggest appropriate course of actions or strategy for the future. This kind of analytics can help prevent things like customer outreach, limit risk, improve business decisions, and get more loyal customers. So talking about all the different analytics techniques in a single graph, the first two methods, that is descriptive analytics and diagnostic analytics, are more focused on what happened in the past, while the other two, that is predictive and prescriptive analytics, are more focused towards what can happen in the future. So let us look at some example statements coming from all of these analytical methods for an online e-commerce store. Your job here is to classify which statement came out as a result of which analysis. So we have four statements as follows. Five people bought a watch today. Five people bought a watch today because it was on sale. If I keep running a sale, another five people may buy a watch tomorrow. And I should be running a sale. You can go ahead and pause this video and jot down your answers on what kind of analysis each of these statements signify. So I hope you've done that and now let us go ahead and check if you've got them correct. The first statement that is 5 people bought a watch today is an example of descriptive analytics as it describes what happened in a certain time. The second statement that is 5 people bought a watch today because it was on sale is an example of diagnostic analysis as it shows the reason behind why something happened. The third statement that is if I keep running a sale, another 5 people may buy a watch tomorrow is an example of predictive analytics as it predicts the future, as it suggests what you should be doing for future. Also, did you realize how the four different analytical methods work together? Combinedly, they help to see the entire spectrum of insights needed to truly understand customer needs, buying patterns, and past or future behaviors. Now, it is time for us to dive into code and actually conduct these analyses on a dataset harvested from an internal data source using Python. I'll be using the Jupyter Notebook as my IDE, but you can use any other IDE that you are familiar with to follow along. So I'll see you in the next lesson.